Today's video is sponsored by Keys Fan. Now that the crowd strike drama is pretty much over and we realize that the world did not come to an end, and even though we were pretty heavily inconvenienced and it's being addressed. And I did make a couple of videos about CrowdStrike to let you guys know what was going on and how to fix this problem. And I'm getting a lot of comments from people saying that they can't fix their own computers. They don't want to wait for their IT department. And even though I tell them in this particular situation, all they had to do is get into safe mode and delete one file. When the machine is continually trying to boot into Windows over and over and continues to blue screen, there's no opportunity for them to even get into safe mode. And one of the things that I have said on this channel, if you've watched any of my videos over and over and over and over again, is create a Windows installer disk. Now, originally I said that for people who were telling me about problems they had with blue screens or odd behavior. And I tell them if you create a Windows installer disk, you can simply select your boot order when you turn your computer on, tell it to boot to that flash drive and do everything that you need to do. Now, a lot of people listen and I got a ton of views on those videos and a lot of you have told me that that's really helped you out because you were able to actually get in and troubleshoot your own problems, which is fantastic. And I thought it might be a good idea considering the recent CrowdStrike drama to reiterate to you how important it is to have a Windows installer disk or a utility disk that allows you to access your files in the case that either you have a blue screen or you have a boot loop, which is what's going on with the CrowdStrike issue, or you just get a black screen and you can't do anything else, Windows Utility Disk is absolutely worth its weight in gold. It's 100% free. The only thing it's gonna cost you is a flash drive. That's it. So after all this CrowdStrike drama, the only thing that keeps going through my head is what about next time? What about that time where something happens and everybody panics what are the people who don't know anything about technology going to do? That's why I made this video today. And unfortunately, the reality is, is this CrowdStrike thing was a big wake-up call, but it's not going to be the last time something like this happens. Somebody is going to figure out a way to cause another worldwide panic because of Microsoft or Windows or some third-party program or piece of software that runs on the computer. It's going to happen again. Now, granted, with the CrowdStrike issue, if you're a Linux user or a Mac user, you're working because everything's working. It's not affecting those operating systems. But considering that 75% of the world's market is based on Windows and most companies and large corporations are using a Windows PC platform for their employees, if you use Windows PCs, you need to be able to get into your computer and get access to your files. I've seen several times where someone didn't have a boot disk and they took it to a local shop and they had all their personal stuff on this computer and the shop just wiped it and gave it back to them in working condition. Didn't one time ask about their personal files or anything like that. They lost everything. Have you found yourself stuck with a non-working or possibly pirated copy of Windows? Well, thanks to today's sponsor, KeysFan, you can be up and running again and 100% legal in about 10 minutes for less than $10. An unactivated copy of Windows prevents you from personalizing your computer. And if you want to upgrade your Windows 10 to Windows 11 now or down the road, you're going to need an authentic product key to do that. Use code AYCG50 to get 50% off Windows 10 or Windows 11 licenses. Use code AYCG62 to get 62% off Office 2019 or 2021. The purchase process could not be simpler. Simply search for the version of Windows or Office that you're looking for, add it to your cart, make sure you apply your coupon code, and within 10 minutes you'll have an email sent to you with a new product code. Go to your email and select the product key, go to Windows Activation Settings, type or paste your product key, click Next, then Activate, and you're done. Now, back to your video. I think it's a great way to have peace of mind to know that in the absolute worst case scenario, you can get into your computer, get to your files, or in this case, delete a file and get back up and running in a few minutes and not have to wait for your IT department. So that being said, there's really three things that I think every Windows user needs just as a preventative measure in case something like this happens again. The very first thing, and a lot of enterprise users that work for large corporations have BitLocker enabled on their computer. And BitLocker is a drive encryption that's designed by Microsoft. And as people saw with this CrowdStrike issue, a lot of people couldn't get in their computer because BitLocker was triggered as soon as the boot loop started and Windows basically threw up on itself and BitLocker said, nope, we're done. You would be surprised how many people have BitLocker on their computer and either don't know that they have BitLocker 
or there's a 48 digit recovery key that they don't have any clue that they have. So if you have BitLocker on your computer, and I'll show you in a minute how to check, but if you have BitLocker on your computer, the very first thing you need to do is you need to go and retrieve your BitLocker recovery key. Because if your computer tries to boot up, and as in the CrowdStrike case, couldn't boot, and it won't let you proceed until you put in that key, some people don't have the ability to go to Microsoft and get their key or retrieve it because they never knew they had it. So this is a good way for you to check and see if you have it. If you do, to either print it out or save that key to a flash drive. And that way, if in fact you ever have a problem where your computer doesn't boot up properly or does a boot loop or blue screen or whatever, and in the process of troubleshooting, you get prompted for that BitLocker key, you'll have it, peace of mind, piece of paper, or on a flash drive and boom, you can continue and start troubleshooting and possibly get back into Windows. That's number one. Number two is a Windows installer disk. Now, why is that important? Well, first of all, Windows is buggy and it crashes. You'd be really hard pressed to find somebody that doesn't have experience with the blue screen of death or I had to wipe my computer or Windows crashed or whatever. The Windows installer disk gives you access to built-in Windows utilities that you may not normally be able to get access to simply by booting to a flash drive. You can do things like check the physical integrity of your hard drive. You can check the integrity of your Windows file system. You can make sure that you don't have any Windows system files that are not the correct version or maybe damaged or even infected. You can run system restore. You can run startup repair. You can do all kinds of things with a Windows installer disk. And the most important thing is that you can reinstall your own Windows operating system with this flash drive without having to call anybody. That is super important and I think every Windows user should have one. Here's the kicker is that Windows 10 is going out of support October of 2025. It won't be too long after that where the Windows 10 installation disk is no longer going to be available from Microsoft. And unfortunately, the only other way that you're going to be able to get one is if you know an IT guy or you have a Windows 10 installation DVD or you go pirate it from some website and God only knows what you're going to get. Get it now while it's free from Microsoft and keep it in a drawer. If you ever need it, you'll have it. If you watch any of my videos, I'm always referring to a Windows installer disk and it'd be so nice to be able to reach into a drawer and grab it and say, okay, what's next? That's number two. Number three is what industry insiders have used for years. It's called a Hirons boot utility. Now, there's some argument about whether it's Hirons or Hirons. I've always called it Hirons since I got started in this business, so I'm calling it Hirons. Sorry if that bothers anybody. But just like the Windows installer disk, you can boot to this flash drive and not only have access to your full Windows File Explorer, which gives you access to all of your files, flash drives, networks, you can do pretty much anything you need to do with this utility. You can test your hard drive, you can delete files, you can do whatever is necessary. And in the CrowdStrike situation, this utility would have allowed you to easily boot to this disk, go to that folder, delete that file, unplug the drive, restart your computer, and in less than two minutes, if your computer had the CrowdStrike problem, you'd be up and running while everybody else still had a blue screen. That's number three. As promised, I'm gonna show you how to get that BitLocker key. So you're just going to go to your Windows 10 or 11 search bar and type BitLocker. Now, if you have BitLocker enabled or encrypting your drive, you will see an option here to manage BitLocker. You're just going to click on that. And when this window comes up, you'll see an option to either turn on BitLocker or manage or back up your key. When you click on that, you're going to see this screen pop up here. And this gives you three different options to back up your BitLocker recovery key. You can either save it to your Microsoft account if you are logged into a Microsoft account on your PC, or you can save it to a file. And I would highly recommend putting it on a flash drive and putting it into storage instead of saving it somewhere on your computer. Or the last option is you can actually print the recovery key to a piece of paper. So if you're one of those people that perhaps maybe keeps up with a, a notepad or a, a, a document folder, that might be a better option for you. In this case, I'm choosing to save my recovery key to a removable flash drive, but that's just my preference. If you put it on your computer, you won't be able to get to it if you get prompted for the recovery key later. Either way, it doesn't matter. All you need is that recovery key 
And then if you run into an issue down the road where for some reason, like in the case of this CrowdStrike issue, where you can't even troubleshoot your computer without that recovery key, all you have to do is enter those 48 digits and it's going to let you continue on and get into safe mode and do whatever else you need to do. Now, as far as the media creation tool and the Hirons disk, if you want to know how to create those two disks, watch this video right here where I show you step by step how to take two flash drives and create two amazing utilities that will save your tail the next time you have a Windows problem.